Hey everybody, my name is Venomous Blue Jay. Welcome back to a cooking video. So this is the first cooking video of hopefully a few. We're gonna be doing some of the Venomous Squad later, you know. I'm not sure why we're some we're doing some of the cooking videos with them later. But today we're gonna be making fettuccine Alfredo. I know it's exciting, it's beautiful, and we're just gonna be teaching you guys how to make a base fettuccine alfredo today. You can add a bunch of shrimp, chicken, you know, like whatever you want, but this is just going to be a base fettuccine alfredo with the noodles and your cheese sauce. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go into our ingredients. Got this Ronzoni, um, let's see, yeah, home style fettuccine noodles. Yeah, I think I got it for like $2. Um, I Kroger, and we got some cheese, about uh, two dollars at Kroger, some butter, and then some heavy cream. Oh, this is Lander Lake's heavy. All right, guys. So, this, so now that we've covered all the ingredients, it's time to go to the kitchen. See you there. All right, guys. So now we're in the kitchen, ready to start making our homemade fit. Well, not homemade, but like you know, we're cooking up the the chet, the the bag, as they say. So remember, guys, we got our homemade fettuccine alfredo, or our just our fettuccine rather. So the first thing we're gonna do, guys, we got our glorious fettuccine close up. So what I have, it is in a bag, it's just like like the straight fettuccine. So we're gonna put that aside for a second. We're gonna grab a, a, a uh, ooh, sticky. We're gonna have a pan, right? We're gonna fill it up with water. And we're gonna fill it up with water. All right, so again, we have a little faucet. We're gonna wanna fill that up. Um, I'll show you guys when I'm done. Filling this up. You want, to, you want to fill up, I, you know, like it depends on how much pasta you're going to make, but um, like if you're going to make a few batches, I personally am going to fill it up to, and it also depends on how big your pan is as well. I'm going to fill mine up to around, hey, y'all can't see that here, let me, about right there in the cup, or in the pan, I'm not sure if you can see. How low that is, but that's about um, that's a little less than halfway uh, full. Oh gosh! So that's a little bit less than half a full, guys. So the first thing now we need to do, we take our glorious pan of water. Also, guys, the less the better, really, because um, it'll boil faster, and that's what we need to do with this pot. We need to take it over here. So, we take it over here, have our beautiful pot, it's glorious. We have to turn it on, we have to turn it on. Alright, it's going, I don't know if you can, saw, you can see that. So we're just going to put this about halfway, like, like medium to high heat. We're just going to leave this at a boil. Okay, we're going to let this boil for a little bit. Um, Alright, now, next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go and make our sauce, yeah! All right, guys. So now we have our glorious um, water over there boiling. We are gonna make. Well, yes, we're gonna make our sauce. We're gonna prep our ingredients, to make our sauce. Okay. So once your water has came to boil, um, we're gonna make our sauce. Okay. So the sauce you're gonna need heavy cream. I got this like you know this like pretty small card of like. Three, four dollars, not that too expensive. We got some butter here. We need two sticks. Oh no, one stick, sorry. Pour per cup of milk. So you're also gonna need a measuring cup for that. Or you know, some of those like weird things. So the butter that I got, it's two hat, you know, half sticks. So it, this is just one full stick, you know. Looks kinda like a full full stick of butter right there. So we have two our uh, sticks of butter. We're going to get all ingredients prepped before we actually go heat up our pan to actually make the sauce. Right? We want to kind of melt it and kind of get it combined. And then after that, we're going to, um, we are going to add our cheese. We're going to add, well, we have two, two kinds of cheese. We're not going to add both of them because it does taste weird. So we're going to add one of these, and another one will be for use for garnish at the very end. So this is our, we're going to use butonis, butonis, freshly shedded parmesan. Part of and we need two cups of those so again. You know, a little, 
a little measuring cup. So once you have all that measured out, some people put it into a bowl and they just combine it. So I'm going to measure out my ingredients right quick and then I'll be with you guys in just a second. Also, guys, don't forget, when you're measuring out your ingredients, you want to heat your pan up to, I'd say, low heat because you want to combine and mix everything together to make a sauce. So, yeah, that's important, too, while you're um, measuring out your ingredients. Yeah. All right, guys, so we so measure our ingredients. We have our our cup of um, heavy cream. We have our cheese. We have our butter. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and we have our butter. I must flip that everywhere. Okay, so... First thing that we're gonna want to do, let's see, we're gonna pour in. I want to keep that kind of a lower heat, guys, because we don't want to like burn it. You know, that might be a good idea. So for something, I'm gonna unwrap my butter pieces, my chunks of butter, my chunks, my gourd chunks. We're gonna pop that in there. Must be using a spaghetti thingy. Um, oh, I just blacked out. So you guys, be careful about splattering. It's something that can happen really easily. You don't want to get gunk all over your kitchen. Not a good deal. So yeah, after this is getting uh, nice and combined, and we're gonna add our cheese. We're just gonna thicken it up a lot. We're gonna uh, thicken up our mixture greatly. Gonna keep. Look at our. Yep. Look, it's almost melted. There we go. Almost melted. Yes. Almost completely melted. Got all of our butter. We're gonna add our cheese gradually because you don't want to over, over add too much cheese or else it'll get all like weird and gooey too fast. So you want to kind of slowly add your um cheese as you go. So we're just gonna keep. That doesn't look like a very good color, but as you as add our cheese, like what we're doing right now, well, that's nice and combined. Add in a little bit. Let's see, it's good heat. Yes, it's good heat. We're gonna add in a little bit of our cheese. Just a little bit at a time. Adding your cheese like, like so. Now you add your cheese all the way. It's gonna become much more combined. Like this, good. So, adding our cheese. Once you've done that, you're almost done. So you want to keep mixing it until it's um, a little bit more whiter than this. We want to, you can see we still have some chunks of cheese in there. We want to keep letting that go. But um, so you should be be still watching your your water. So that is at a boil. We're gonna add our noodles. Have our noodles. We're gonna add them to the. Mixture. We're gonna put in our noodles. Yes, they're going. We're gonna turn on the heat just a little bit. Um, these will take around 10 minutes to cook. So once those are done, just just keep that on heat. We wanna make sure it's all combined. Your your sauce on heat. Um, make sure these 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 noodles are getting. We're gonna add a little bit more noodles. Just a little bit more. We'll just leave that there. Alright, come back to our sauce, just kind of stir it ever so. Make sure it's getting, still getting combined. Yeah, when it has that like white whiteness on it, that's good. That's our, that's our sauce. Up it just a little bit, just to make sure it's still getting. Um, we want to see a lot more white than we did that, that weird like yellowy color, so just a tad more. Um, just a little bit more cheese offset that and then I think we'll be about ready. So just remember to keep stirring your cheese. I would sprinkle your cheese sauce on the edges. Ooh, I just dropped my my uh my stirring spoon there guys, sorry. 
a little more cheese. cheese sides make sure it's all yum 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 delicioso stir just stir incorporate all of your delicious chez in there that yes that is that is looking much better it's looking much more the color that, that we want to got our Pasta. It's okay if, if you want to dip some of your cheese. We're gonna stir those like noodles around. Make sure they're getting um, more separate. Yeah, see, that's the kind of car that we want. Um, yes, very good. Yes, all right. Keep stirring. So now, kind of have our base sauce. So, so, a lot of people add chicken and shrimp to these kind of fettuccines that we're making, or to take that off heat for a little bit. I'm just gonna let that sit. We're gonna a little bit. We're gonna add some pasta water, which should not only heat it up but add some flavor. So that, that's a pretty good color that we want it to stay at. Just keep kind of stirring it, make sure it cools down a little bit. Keep eye that the foam stuff is good because it means that um, you know your we're not science here your your noodle is all releasing gluten and you know things like that that are good in the noodle. So every so often, maybe like every five ten minutes or so, you want to kind of test your noodle, like pull one out or so, and just kind of um, look at it to see if it's like really you know like good, and you'll be able to tell if it's done because it would be very like um, kind of you know like the like the spaghetti kind of noodle consistency, where it's not like super hard, and it, it it's kind of like loosey goosey, if you know what I mean. Just kind of rotate between our two our two things. I'm gonna add a little bit too much water there, and that's that happens sometimes in cooking. You know, it's sometimes you just gotta keep that. Um, sauce, sauce looks really good. It looks um kind of the consistency that we kind of want it to be. Not like, not like completely liquid, but not completely like super solid either, which is really good. Sauce looks pretty good. Um, I heard that I may have made a little bit too much for our, for our pasta. I don't know, but we'll see. That looks good. See that uh, eyes consistency. Um, and this series, guys, this is this is gonna be. Oh ooh, gosh, it's gonna be like a multiple. This is gonna be a multi-part series. We're going to be making stuff with the Venom Squad. Um, we're going to be making some stuff from anime and other games and whatnot. So, yeah. It'll be a good deal. This is... We're going to have a lot better camera quality and stuff than this because we're going to have multiple people. So, <laughs> just bear with me here. So, that looks pretty good. We're going to try... We're going to try one of these glorious noodles. Make sure to be stirring your sauce. Yeah, that, that's coming along nicely, yes. Take a fork. A fork. We're gonna grab a noodle or sixty. <laughs> oop! Ah! Ah! Oop! Oop! Got one. Got two. Okay. I'm not getting any. It's harder to get than, than spaghetti noodles, guys, because like they're not like as like. Oop, I think I got that one. That's a good one. Let the one cool off for a hot second. I think we should be good because we're, we're creating a little bit of a vortex over here. You can see. Kind of mixing the noodles. That's a good thing. We, 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 we might want to... As we're going to fast forward to when this is done, we're going to uh, go to the plating part now. Alright guys, so when you expect that your noodles are finally done, you can take them. I'm going to... Um, it's kind of heavy, but I think it'll be okay. We're going to take them over here. We're going to try to pour out a lot of the noodle water. And we're actually going to add a little bit of this to the that out. We're going to pour a lot of our water into the... Okay, yes. We, we actually dished it. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Much more manageable to hold. Oop. Oop. Uh, 
all your pasta plated. We're gonna go, we're, we're gonna go grab our fettuccine, or our alfredo sauce. Take it off, it's beautiful resting place. We're gonna slowly pour our sauce. Ooh, ooh yeah. We're gonna flood the plate, gents, ladies and gents. Okay. All right. So, we might have put a little bit too more, too much sauce, but this is our finished product. Our, um, our fettuccine with Alfredo sauce, homemade Alfredo sauce, I might add. Finishing touch. Sprinkle some Parmesan over it. Looks beautiful, doesn't she? Now let's taste, guys. How do we... How much cool stuff on this channel? Food together. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Yes, delicious. Ooh, we're gonna try it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's that, yeah. That's pretty good, guys. I like that. It tastes very, like, you know, cheesy, which is a good thing. Not a lot of cheese, but the sauce tastes really good. Mmm. -hmm. Hot and really messy, but really good. Really good, guys. So... I think this is a success for sure. Big success, guys. Um, again, if you guys want to see more of this cooking content, we're going to be doing some of the Venom Squad soon. It's going to be awesome. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I'm the Venomous Bougie, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!